Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome back to a brand new video going over Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be going over this potential leak that I did mention in the last two videos that basically got Weezing's hidden ability neutralizing gas right. And not only that, it also got right about there being a trailer at Worlds, which did show the neutralizing gas and some of the competitive scenes. So it's... You know, it's got a little bit of evidence behind it, and it does go into, like, new Gigantamax forms, the name of the second evolution to the starters, some really cool stuff. So, if you're excited for today's video, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes again. Your support does mean a lot more than you think. And make sure to leave a comment down below as well what your thoughts and feelings are about this potential leak. It definitely looks kind of concrete, but we'll have to see. And, of course, subscribe as well if you're brand new. It's completely free, so, hey, why not? It costs zero of your money. With all of that out of the way, though, guys, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, this was posted on the 12th of August, so 17 days ago. Um, but yeah, like I say, it got everything right about neutralizing gas, and it also got right about the trailer at Worlds, which showed Weezing's neutralizing gas and uh, a couple other things as well, some other moves and abilities and items. But anyway, it starts off by saying, which is very, very interesting, a brand new trailer is set to be released on Wednesday, September the 4th. Some interesting stuff will be shown. Now, this is a little bit... I don't know what to think because obviously the last leak that we went over, well, the potential leak, basically got the whole Pokeball uh, ranking system right and the tiers right and everything for the competitive scene. But that leak said that the trailer was going to be on the 6th. This leak, which basically got right about neutralizing gas and stuff and about the trailer, basically says the trailer is going to be on the 4th. So I, I don't really know what to think. Like one of them got lucky and I don't know what. I think this one is more likely because they got two things right. And the last one only got one thing right with the Pokeball tier system. Because this thing literally got the name of the ability right. And that wasn't shown at all. It was question marks when Galarian Weezing was announced. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of edging to more, towards this one more. And the fourth is, is very, very close. Well, it's 29th today. The fourth is next Wednesday. Wednesday is kind of a day you would expect to see a new trailer. Um, and if that is true... Uh, all of this will be shown, but it then goes on to say that a new ability called Neutralizing Gas will be introduced and is exclusive for Galarian Weezing. As the name suggests, it will neutralize all the abilities of the Pokemon that are in battle. So, got that 110% correct. Couldn't have got it more right, really. That's exactly what Neutralizing Gas does. So they must know something if they got that spot on. Like, yeah, okay, the Pokemon tier lists and ranking system. Yeah, I guess you could have got lucky and guessed that. But to guess the name right and guess exactly what it does and guess that it's going to be given to Galarian Weezing, I feel like this has a little bit more evidence behind it. So I'm kind of more edging towards this one and hoping that a new trailer will be shown on the 4th September. Regardless, the next trailer will most likely show the second evolutions of the stars because it's basically September and we don't know anything about them really. We don't even know the typings of the second stages or the third stages or anything. So I am pretty much guaranteed I would put money on the line that the next trailer we get shown whether it is on the fourth or the fifth or the sixth or whatever is going to be showing the second stage of the start of Pokemon. I'm just I'm, I'm very very much um, set on that idea. But anyway, it then goes on to say Ponyta, Natu, Hopip, Apom, and Farfetch'd are all going to have a Galarian form. Galarian Farfetch'd also evolves into Surfetch'd, which is a Swan inspired Pokemon that uses exactly the users. Exactly like Farfetch'd, a Spring Onion to fight. So, of course, they could have just got the Surfetch thing off the Ben Affleck leak, but I don't know. I feel like the Galarian Weezing thing, it's just so spot on right that it kind of just gives this actual rumor slash leak a lot of evidence. Um, so, yeah, apparently Ponyta, Natu, Hoppip, and Apom and Farfetch'd are all getting Galarian forms. Uh, Apom's been thrown around a lot. Hoppip's been thrown around a lot. Ponyta's been thrown around a lot. And obviously Farfetch'd as well because of Surfetch'd, um, which are some interesting Pokemon to get Galarian forms. But I would love to see Apom get one. I'd love to see I'd love to see Ponyta get one as well. I think that could be really, really cool. I don't know what typing Apom would be though. Maybe like Fairy Fire or something like that? I don't know. Then it goes on to say Galarian Ponyta is a pure Fairy type who gains the Flying type when evolved into Rapidash. So that's kind of um, like a Pegasus kind of Pokemon. Then it says Galarian, Hoppip, Skiploom, and Jumpluff are all going to be Grass and Ghost in set. So we've seen Grass Steel, Grass Ghost, Fire Steel, Fire Ghost. You know, there's been a lot of typings given to Galarian Hoppip. We don't even know if it exists. We don't even know if it's going to be a thing. Um, but I I'm very much behind this uh, potentially just because, like I said, I'm going to keep mentioning it. But getting that neutralizing gas thing right and getting the... Um, 
the exact like ability of what it does and the name and, and that it's given to Glyria Weezing before it was announced is I don't know it's very much kind of giving me the impression that this is true anyway then goes on to say Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Komowo, Tyranitar, Hydreigon, Aerodactyl and Volcarona and the final stages of the start Pokemon are all getting a Gigantamax form so again Tyranitar, Hydreigon, Aerodactyl, and Volcarona. These guys keep popping up in every single rumor and leak that they are getting a Gigantamax form. Um, so, of course, nothing set in stone. They may not get one, but the fact that it's popping up in every single one uh, makes me believe that, hey, maybe they are getting one. Uh, we've already seen Dynamax, um, Hydreigon. I mean, if Tyranitar is getting one, then I think Hydreigon would get one because aren't they the version exclusives? I think Larvitar and uh, Dino are the two version exclusives. I think... Don't hold me to that, but I think they might be version exclusive. So if one's going to get one, the other will. Does that mean that Aerodactyl and Volcarona are version exclusives as well? Who knows? Then says, Roly Coley gets two more stages and evolves into Roly Ray, starting at level 25, which evolves into Roly Motive when traded. Ooh, I don't like them trade evolutions. Eldegoss evolves into Flirtigoss, a grass and poison Pokemon who has a similar design to Whimsicott. I could kind of see that, because Gossy Fleur definitely looks like it took inspiration from the Whimsicott line. I can't remember Wooloo's evolution's names, but I can confirm that it has two stages as well and evolves into a mountain ram. Both Duraludon and Dreadnought are single stages, so I can definitely see them being single stages, but Wooloo getting two evolutions, that's kind of cool, because we don't usually get two stages for the, um, kind of the normal Pokemon of the region, like Rattata, only evolved into Raticate, Zigzagoon only evolved into Lunoon, Sentra only evolved into Thoric. We've not really got, have we actually got on a three stage yet? I don't even know if we have off the top of my head. Well, I guess you could call Lilliput one and then obviously that goes into Herdia and then, um, what's his face? You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, it's not completely out of the question for Wulu to get two evolutions and I definitely think that would be cool. Wulu is clearly loved by a lot of people um, and they probably knew that was going to be a thing. So yeah, I, I don't see why they wouldn't give more evolutions to Wulu and a, a mountain ram as well. That sounds really cool. Um, you start your advi uh, adventure in Plocktown, which gets the name from a real existing small village in Scotland. Oh yeah, it's called Stoutland, the other Pokemon. Uh, Plocktown, uh, Ploc Plockton Town which gets the name from real existing small village in Scotland. I'm not going to search that up because it's probably true that this plot's in town place. I mean, if this rumor is true or not, this person could have easily just searched up that anyway. Uh, but now on to the starter Pokemon information. The second stages of the starters are called Raboot, Rivermape, and Sizzle. Again, those names are cropping up everywhere. I don't know, like, okay, so... This is, this is where it gets a little bit interesting, because both this leak and the other one that got the Pokeball thing right could be true. Um, they might have just got the dates wrong for the trailer. So, like, a lot of the things mentioned in here are things mentioned in the other one. Um, so, like I say, the start evolution names, the stuff about Hoppip and, and, and Ponytar and Far, uh, Farfetch and stuff, the Tyranitar, Hydreigon, Aerodactyl, Volcarona, they all get in Gigantamax forms. All of that is mentioned in the other leak. They both could be true, um, but they might have just got the dates wrong. Like, you got to admit, like, even the Ben Affleck leak, he called one of them, he called Yampa, I think he called, like, Rampa or something like that. He got that wrong. Um, I mean, he didn't get it wrong, he just kind of misspelled the name. So I'm not going to rule both of them out. They could have easily just got the date wrong. Like if they are getting this information, they're going to have to get it in a way that's secretive and stuff and, and where they don't kind of put themselves on the line. So they might just get a couple of things wrong, but they both got things 110% right that were not yet confirmed. So they both do still have legitimacy to them and I'm still not ruling either of them out. I just think this one's a little bit more likely just because it got two things right. Um, I don't remember the final stages except the Grookeys, which is called Bangorilla. So we have Inteleon, which is obviously Sobble's final evolution. Bangorilla, which is most likely Grookey's evolution. We don't know about Scorbunnies yet. We just know it's a humanoid Pokemon. And it says, there is no Pokemon Direct scheduled for the end of this month, but some new trailers will be eventually shown at Pokemon Worlds, which was true, which was where the neutralizing gas Galarian Weezing was shown. So, like I say, got two things right. I mean, you don't have to be a brainiac to think that a new trailer will get shown at Worlds. But yeah, a lot of information did get shown at Worlds. Um... But yeah, it's just like, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think this could be true, and I would like it to be true. There's some really cool information here. Um, the Star Pokemon will get shown in the next trailer. Let's hope it's on the 4th, but I, I think it will. I think we'll get the new trailer on the 4th, and I think it will show the stars, whether they're called that or not. It's going to put a lot of things into kind of, I, I don't know, just like if, if we do get the stars and they are called Rabu, Rimthape, and Scizor, like that's going to show that a lot of other rumors could be true. 
Um, of course, they could just take things from other previous rumors and stuff and put it onto their own to make them look more legitimate. But at the end of the day, I think this is true. Um, we're just going to have to wait for the fourth, though, which isn't long. It's next Wednesday. It's really not far away at all. Um, apparently, there's a direct on the 31st, but I don't think that's true. I think it's most likely going to be a trailer. If this is true, then yeah, there's no direct. It's just going to be another trailer. Hopefully, they announce another trailer because I do like live streaming them for you and reacting to them for you. We did it with the Team Yell. Um, trailer but that's going to be everything for today's video though guys if you did enjoy please do consider hitting that like button down below let's try and hit 500 likes make sure to leave your comments down below do you think this is true or not i'd love to hear your guys thoughts and feelings i think it is true i got heavy hopes i've got high hopes for this um but we'll have to see on the fourth and make sure to subscribe though if you're brand new that's everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace